Hello everybody, it's Chuck Thunder, and we're back with another episode of my Let's Play of playing Your Uncharted Waters, UWO for short. Um, so everybody, um, I'm doing so. I just recorded this episode and realized that none of the sound recorded. Number one thing to do when recording anything, make sure it's actually recording all of your uh, inputs, <laughs> and then don't do a 10, 15 minute video before realizing that it didn't work out. Anyways, that all being said, t that was tip number one for recording. Tip number two actually is for UWO. Uh, on this game, uh, there's mo something more important than anything else besides just doing all the things that you gotta be doing, you know, for this particular task, unlocking this port and all that stuff. Multitasking is the most important skill. It's not a skill in the game for you to, to, to unlock and do. It's a thing that you need to do in this game. You need to be thinking about how can you benefit the most from uh, doing this back and forth business <laughs> between uh, all your skills how you can be focusing on all of them and making sure you're maximizing your benefits so I'm going to talk about how this particular thing I'm doing right now is benefiting me in multiple ways so uh, part of what I was doing before was also discovering ports I hadn't discovered um, Benghazi or Candia or Tripoli so I used some of that um, some of the things I was doing while I was doing this to also explore those places. So that was a thing while I was doing. I'm doing a, one particular project for myself right now, and then while I was doing it, I'm saying, well, why not discover a couple of ports while I'm at it? So that's my first step of multitasking, so it's one. Two, I'm doing multitasking in the sense that I'm trying to level up these three skills. Not so much this one, actually. I didn't mean to do this one. Leveling up these skills. Uh, frugality, rowing, and fishing maybe a little bit of caution too if I'm trying to be safe in this region but for the most part this is what I'm focusing on doing getting my rowing skilling up getting my fishing skill up and making sure I make it there safely there and back so I don't run out of food or get attacked so that's pretty much my main goal um, sailing back and forth between places now why am I sailing I'm not just sailing just for fishing and sailing for rowing sure those are one benefits but I'm actually sailing because I want to get the fish first off, and when I get the fish, I want to store them, use my storage skill, the fisherman's arts, so that I can level up my storage skill, so that I can also get up to storage level 4, so that I can use them to make Mogul's Memoir, and use them to make my fine goods storage for um, brigands here, my brigand tributes. I can only do that if I got a storage level 5, and I'm at storage level 4. Now, I could go get an item that's going to increase my storage at level 5, but I don't want to be wearing that item all the time. So that's one of the first things I could be doing is um, getting that. But no, I want to level up storage level 5. I'm at level 4 right now. I'm not anywhere close to where I need to be for my storage. I'm only at 234 to 3200 in rank 4, so I have a ways to go. Um, but I figured I could be focusing on this main thing by going back and forth, sailing between Syracuse and Benghazi, um, to level up these particular skills, getting the fishing skill, getting the collect the things I can need to collect to convert them over into uh, the fish that I need. Also, while I'm going back and forth between these places, there's things I could be buying in these places and also converting over into doing other things. Um, now, don't mind the brass, iron, and lumber. That's not coming back and forth between Syracuse, but the berries and um, the olives are things I could be leveling up. So I'm going to be turning olives into... Uh, excuse me, olives into olive oil, and I'm collecting the berries for my other character who needs them so he can turn them into um, salted fish and nuts so that I can supply both my characters with food. So there's a purpose to everything I'm doing here. I'm not just buying things willy-nilly to sell them unless that's your goal. I mean, right now I'm doing other things. Um, so that that's my main focus is I'm doing this back and forth thing to level up my storage so that I can get my storage up to level 5 so I can make Mogul's Memoirs for both my characters because I'm running low on Mogul's Memoirs. Actually I don't think I have many at all on the other tune. Yeah I got 35 here but I don't have many on the other one so I want to be able to make a good chunk for this character or for the other character. Um, and I'm also running low on food, which is why I'm getting salted berries here, or pear berries, so that I can make more salted fish with nuts with my other characters, so that I can stock up on the foods here again. Now, I also have this bonanza box, which should also give me, like, bagels or something, but I want to be self-reliant on my two characters. So, that's why I'm sailing back and forth. Now, why these two particular locations? Why not do this something closer to Seville, so that you can 
collect you can collect fish anywhere chuck you can row anywhere you can do frugality anywhere why are you picking up berries only like is it really just for berries yes partially but it's mostly be so that i can invest in benghazi up to two hundred thousand, so that i can get another storage book and that other storage book has other storage skills that you can use to your benefit for other purposes like i could turn gold dust into gold great i need gold for other purposes you know, or even just that skill level improvements that it can cause. So I'm trying my best to do multiple things at one time. Um, and you should be too. Multitasking is the most important part of this game. If you're doing things that like sailing from Calvi to Venice and you're not doing anything other than just sailing and you're not fishing while you're at doing it or you're not getting things that you need along the way to do other skills, you're wasting half an hour of your time, especially if you got one of these slower ships. So make the trips worth it to make make sure that you're doing the things that you could be doing during those trips to really benefit yourself i mean here i am in syracuse if i really wanted to i could be doing the syracuse dungeon while i'm at it you know go ahead and do a run in the syracuse dungeon and then come back out and then go back to benghazi do your thing and then go back to syracuse and do the dungeon again if you wanted level up battle skills i'm not trying to do that my character is not in a battle uh, state of mind but that is something that i could be doing um, there's always a way to be multitasking. It just depends on what your goals are. Um, for me, my main goals are, what I've already described, to get my storage up so I can make Mogul's memoirs, and I'm just trying to find an efficient route that makes it happen. Um, this may or may not be the most efficient way of doing it, but this is something I am going to be doing um, for the foreseeable future because it's going to take me a while to... Uh, be able to do this. Uh, I'm not something. It's not something I'm like gonna do overnight. It's gonna take me lots of trips. Um, oh, look at that! We could buy olives. Great. Um, and I think that's about all I really need. Olives is great um, because I want to turn them into olive oil. Okay. You've obtained information regarding a discovery folklore. You can confirm details of the discovery menu. If you meet requirements, you may be accept an investigation request from Prince Henrik and Sagers. Okay. Not that I'm gonna do that, but. Great. If you got, if that's your goal, go ahead and do that. <laughs> Not mine. So, anyways, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back to Benghazi. Get back to the port. Uh, check my provisions. Make sure I'm stocked enough on food. Only six days worth. I think we'll be fine. It's a short trip. Auto nav. Back to Benghazi. Not Alexandria. That'd be too far of a sail. Back to Benghazi. Now, I've already invested twice in the Benghazi, so I'm at 120000 So I only need to invest uh, another 80000 so two more trips back. Um, oh, this is not the one I want to do. I want to do what we were talking about before, either frugality or caution. We're going to do frugality, so we should make it there, no problem. And then, also, while you're at sea, I'm, I could also do my fisherman's arts and stuff, because not only is it going to level up my storage, but it may also level up my um, management skill which is another thing that I need to level up as well. I'm always thinking about what things I could be doing while I'm doing them and what benefits are is it going to be for me because it's going to it's going to benefit me in the long run if I invest more time into doing things at multiple times for multiple skills. All right, so did that get me any storage skill? Very little. I got about like 10. Oh, goodness. This is going to be a long, long trip. This is why I'm hoping that the... And I might, should be focusing on this more, but if I'm doing fisherman stuff, I should be the doing the higher fishes. So that means I need to be getting like level 3 or 4 fish, and I need to find out where to get these things more efficiently. Codfish, salmon, and pitos. I think I'll be get pedo and codfish if I was up in um, England, I think. Anyway, so let's go ahead and do the next thing. Seasoning books. I was going to do olive oil. This is a level 2 skill. I'm like level rank 8, so this is not going to benefit me that much, but I might as well do it. Um, oops, I'm out of vigor now, so i got to eat more food. Should have stocked up on vigor before I left. Um, Alright, and then back to seasonings, and we'll do olive oil. I should be looking out for the other things, if I can do any of these. Barley wine would be nice, but no, I don't think I can. Olive oil. Done. And that might have helped. Uh, again, it's not, it's incremental, and it's small. I'm not going to check every five seconds to see, oh, is this working on my management skill? No, it hasn't done anything on my management skill, because it works better on your 
higher level things, not on the lower level things. My handicrafts probably barely budged um, when I did that. So it's like, why why constantly check on these things? Just do these things over time. You'll get the skill. Focus on higher rank things. If your rank is like a level four, for, focus on rank four stuff or rank rank three stuff to get the best benefit. Um, doing the fish on the low level stuff is really very very slow and that's why I'm hoping that when I get to rank 4 I'll be able to or rank 5 I'll just go right into making Mogul's memoirs and I can really boost my storage while I'm at it um, so yeah you know and this may not be the most efficient trip I after I do the Benghazi thing and I'm done getting my book that I need from Benghazi if it has a rank 4 thing and I can do that relatively easy I'm gonna turn to focusing on doing that while also doing all the other things I could do at sea or I'm gonna go back to my other trade trade route that I do back and forth is Barcelona at Algiers getting the medals that I need to do to make my European armor so I can rank up my rank rank up my management rank up my um, craft uh, casting skills and stuff of that nature all while trying to do the fishing thing again and seeing if that helps. And if that's not the best thing, then maybe I change it up and I go to northern uh, sea regions so I can get higher level fishes. And so I can use those fish, excuse me, to do my storage. Oh, it's a big stretch. So hopefully this is teaching you the importance of multitasking during this game. But otherwise, you're going to be sitting here for hours wasting time. If you're going to be AFK for a while, another thing you could do is if I need a lot of fish, right, and turn them into storage purposes, why don't I put, go out to sea for a long sea, sailing situation and just set the fishing to go and stock up on food and just sit there out at sea and get yourself a lot of fish or just sit at the dock, don't go anywhere and just collect a lot of fish so that when you come back you're just, your fishing skills ranked up and so that you have a lot of fish in your inventory. You know, check every couple hours and that's probably what I'm going to do here because I have to go downstairs and have some breakfast and stuff. Once I'm done with that, then I can go and come back and do my storage stuff, and maybe I'll get a bigger boost all at once without having to sit here on the screen and stare. So if you ever wonder why people are sitting in uh, at the dock doing nothing, it's because they're ranking something they don't have to be at their computer for. They could be AFK for it. So uh, hopefully this episode was informative, and if you have any questions about how uh, to do multitasking for your particular skill, maybe I can help you figure it out what you could be doing, what your goals are, what skills you have, and how can you benefit them all at the same time. So I hope this was um, informative to you, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And my name is Chuck Thunder, and this character, Charles Thunder, are my others, and you can even leave me a comment or like below. I really appreciate it, and I can always help you out in the next episode. Take care.